Hello, this is Lucas and in this video I'm going to be going over the auto increment in MySQL. So the auto increment, it just increments a value by one anytime we insert a, a, a data into the uh, table or a, a record into the table. So we need to do this whenever we uh, create a new table. So let's say we do create table, we'll give uh, the table persons. We can give uh, a field of ID. Okay, this is going to be an integer. Let's do a not null. And then what we can do is we can do auto increment. And any time that we insert a record in, into this table, this ID will just increment by one. Okay, so we can give a couple more, a uh, couple more fields in this table, like first name, and we can also do something like uh, last name. Okay, so we do uh, 255. Now we, we can't just leave it at this because if we just leave it at this, we get an error. The reason is our auto increment, we have to assign this as a primary key. Okay, so if we do uh, primary key, we pass in ID. You can see now we are able to create the error table. Now what I can do is we can do describe and then we do uh, persons. You can see now that uh, our table shows as the ID field is our primary key. It can't be null, but also you can see in the extra that it will auto increment. Okay, so now whenever I insert, well, firstly, let's just select all from persons. See, firstly, it's, it's an empty set. But now what I can do is I can do insert okay insert into persons now we can give this a few uh, error field names now we don't actually have to specify the id okay so whenever we insert into this table we don't have to specify the id we just have to specify the other uh, the other fields so if we do something like uh, first name and then last name okay and then we give it the values of let's say we do um, uh, Bob. Oh, I need to do it again. Insert into persons uh, first name, last name of the values. Let's say we do uh, Bob and we do. Uh, Peter and um, if we insert you can see even though we haven't specified this right it is still inserted in, into that table so now whenever I do select all from persons you can see that the first ID is one even though we haven't actually assigned uh, the field ID to one we haven't even added it in whenever we inserted that record because we it will auto increment okay now let's say we add another value And we select all you can see that the second id now is two even though we haven't actually uh, added that in whenever we inserted into here okay now the very last thing that i will show you is we can alter this table that we have created so alter table persons and what we can do is we can do auto increment and we can set this to let's say 100 so now what happens is any time that we insert a record, the first value will start off as 100, okay? And then it will move on to, you know, like 101 and so on, okay? So that's about it for this video. I hope this video helped. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.